Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily message in here for March 23rd. Whatever in the world you are, I welcome you. I thank you for coming in and in tune in with these energies. Let's love how this day is. As always know that the messages which are coming in are as right now some of you you might be dealing with these energies for others of you you are about to deal with them or you will deal in the back in the future let's see here how the past present and the future looks like for many of you and indeed here loves the energy is still at peak Every single new moon, full moon, it's quite strong lately. And speaking of this year, 2022 is a year of balance. Always, always try to stay in balance. As much the energy could be or any other things that you are facing at this time. All right, an overarching energy for this day, for this reading. Three of Wands. Wishes. Future plans that you want to come to reality. Many of you, you've been manifesting certain things and you're waiting for them to show up. Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, all about balance. And glad to see this Nine of Pentacles. It seems here that one person could be struggling to balance things in their life. When it's hard, when it's not as hard, when they need to push certain things, when they need to not going with the flow or so. Let's see, loves. So far, we've seen just one person right here. Nine of Pentacles is one person. Six of Pentacles, three of Wands, and the Ten of Wands, just one person in. Let's see. Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Empress. Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, goodness, Four of Cups, and the Star. All right. The future looks quite beautiful and glad to see that as well. I will tell you why. As well, the Nine of Pentacles. Very much what I see right now and see the energy quite strong in here is someone here needs to stay clearly, crystal clear in their own power. Do not ever doubt that. There is certain decisions here to be taken and I feel here they are quite beautiful. This how looks your future with the Empress, Four of Wands, and the Star. Whatever here you are waiting or looking of, your hard work will show up. Will show up. And also, be very clear for what you truly want. I really enjoy seeing the Empress, Four of Wands, and the Star, a wish fulfillment, come to you. Also, we have two Knights, one Page and one Queen. Let's clarify really quick this Four of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. There's an opportunity here offered to you in a very short time 
and speaking of the divine timing it's meant to come to you and be here for you nine of cups again it's a wish fulfillment hangman And I feel here, whatever it's coming to you, I feel like, well, this is not for me. Let me think. Don't overthink it. We, most of the time in this life, we overthink certain things. What's the best here is you will make a decision. And make that decision scale up. The goods, the bads. Not just... Well, I expect this to be in a certain way. Have realistic expectations. Have realistic energies for yourself. King of Wands. And King of Wands is that king who takes action. For whatever he is. There's an opportunity here. Again, it's something here you would like it. But... You gotta see from a different perspective. Because it's coming in a way, and I feel like, no, 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 thank you. But the hangman very much speaks that upside down. See it differently. Because it's something here you asked the universe to come to you. So, yes, loves. The Six of Pentacles being clarified by the Emperor. I feel here this needs to be balanced, the ego most likely. Could come in the Aries season, but speaking of, we have the Empress and the Emperor, the yin and yang energy here. That's a very, very strong to be balanced. And Ten of Wands clarified by Seven of Wands. Stand up for what you put in to the universe. If you put enough effort, if you put genuine effort, you know it. And as well, I feel here that flexibility needs to be there. And I might speak here with an Aries... A fire sign I have the fire energy only the Queen of Wands is not here but we do have the Queen of Swords and we have the Knight of Cups so whatever here is given offered is meant to grow you just need to know if this is what you want or how you want it because you will make that decision. You will take action forward. Also, there's no need just for the small talk. Whatever questions you have, don't hold it. Because we have this page of wands. Page of wands, yes, the message is coming in briefly. But the Queen of Swords is that queen who asks plenty of questions. Let's see here. Um, a potential decision here. A potential decision. Two of Wands could be this decision taken between two weeks as we speak right now. And four months. So two weeks. That by mid-April. And four months. Speaking of. That is from. As we are mid-March now. Well, at the end almost. April. May. June. July. By July. So by Cancerian season needs to be taken. Let's see. The decision, two of wands. What is this decision for or what is the message that we need to receive at this time regards this? 
Seven of Pentacles. Death. And Page of Swords. Underneath we have King of Cups. Whatever decision here needs to be made is not to be waiting for way too long. Do not procrastinate whatsoever. Get as much information as you need about whatever you are leaving behind and whatever you are bringing and keep it with you. Page of Swords is that page who learns new things. Keep an eye on certain things. Seven of Pentacles is time for you to reap your fruits. It's the harvest time or let's say your hard work to be paid off. And the death speaks about change. Whatever here you've been waiting and nothing comes or nothing showed up, let it go. Learn the lesson, move on. And for those of you who did work hard, and you need to make a decision to learn certain things or to change certain things. Do not procrastinate. Changing the things, learning from the previous experiences will lead you to this four of wands. And four of wands, it's a very strong positive card, which speaks about family, unity, celebration, So whatever decision is there for you, Four of Swords, you don't need to take it, you know, right away. Could be a few days as we have the, the death energy. The death energy speaks about Scorpionic energy. Scorpio energy, we do have full moon in Scorpio by the end of April. So indeed here, mid-April or by the end of the April, this is to be taken or this is to be moved forward. As well, Four of Swords, right here, Four of Wands, right here, and Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles is missing. Don't hold back. Do not hesitate. Four of Pentacles very much speaks that. Because whatever here is will change life tremendously. Don't hesitate to leave certain things just because you feel that gotta be that way or that certain way. Because sometimes we are going like, this is the right thing, or I am the right in here. But between being right and being happy, which one you'll choose? Let's see, really quick, as we have here the King of Cups, which the King of Cups very much speaks emotionally balanced, emotionally content. I'm feeling in my Zen energy. And I feel complete, actually. Another thing here, I will look really quick. Where's the Four of Pentacles here? The next card is King of Swords. Plans for the future. High Priestess, to follow your intuition. Let's see. Where is that? Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles, pardon me. Four of Pentacles, where are you? Okay, so here it is. So Four of Pentacles right here. The next card in front is Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups very, very much speaks about allowance, the yin energy. Yin energy speaks about the feminine energy. 
allow whatever it's here allow to let go certain things you've been holding on and the next one we have page of cups give yourself that chance to see through also we have here king of wands page of wands and knight of wands queen of wands let's see it here i will look really quick so queen of wands is here right here up front is five of wands and behind it's full a lot of people might say a lot of things but you don't really need to care about it because the fool is I go with no expectation I go as is and many many times is you like it great you don't just leave it move along five of wands yes other people other energies doesn't mean to if you put behind all this five of wands a lot of easier way much way easier for you will be two of cups there's something new out there and six of wands if you are getting away from all this five of wands you won and it's kind of you won the battle you are on your own track so here is loves you got it loves that's a here the best advice from the universe to you okay the best advice for you from the universe nine of wands don't overthink ace of pentacles queen of wands five of wands and ten of cups five of cups right here so here is loves you build your own happiness and believe it or not whoever tries to fight for your own happiness they want it the same so choose wisely out there nine of swords and queen of wands and page of an ace of pentacles very much speaks that this new beginning will raise up a lot of things things you never ever even imagine but for sure it's meant to bring you happiness let others to boil in their own juice because you have your own and do you most likely five of cups listen to others might feel like well i regret i done it so don't do whatever here is or whatever you've done in the past because five of cups speaks about the past think most likely what is in your own cup fill your cup first if you can fill your cup you can do more afterwards move along beyond your past or past experiences okay loves and we have all the fire courts which that very much speaks be passionate go with your passion all right loves as well as i always say whatever you hold inside you nobody can take if you are not letting it let's see one advice from the oracles choosing your path that's what i always say choose your path not choose their path your path because everything all is possible and underneath we have a wise leader 
you are a beacon for others. Many people want to be like you, but none of them can be. Be original, be you, because that's beautiful. That's genuine. Don't try to pretend to be something or to be a people pleaser because many people fail going after what they are meant to, just pleasing, just trying to be something they can't. And probably that is one of the things I choose even what I do with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul, with all me here. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. There's a lot of protection around you. And keep going forward, ascending the mountain. You are on the right path. Speaking of, the Wheel of Fortune tells you, don't feel like, well, wait, wait, wait. The Wheel of Fortune very much speaks that you are heading in the right direction. Don't stop. Keep going forward, loves. Keep going forward. And yeah, that's what I have for you. For this day it's quite a beautiful one turn out too thank you very much for coming in and of course blessings till the next time namaste